Hi, everybody. Hi, friends. Welcome to Pajama Storytime. My name is Miss Elizabeth. I'm your children's librarian here at Goleta Valley Library, and I'm so excited you could tune in tonight for another fun Pajama Storytime together. If you're brand new here, I want to give you a big warm welcome. Every Wednesday at 7 o'clock, we get together right here on Facebook and YouTube, and we end our day with stories, songs, rhymes, and we love to just end our day um, celebrating a good story and sharing good books with the ones we love. So thanks for tuning in tonight. Before we get started, I have a couple of announcements. Some of you may know already that the summer reading program has kicked off at the library. So we have this program that's open for all ages, children, teens, and adults. Um, the way it works is you can log your books online through a website called Beanstack, and you can earn prizes for reading and logging your books this summer. Isn't that amazing? We have some incredible prizes that our really generous local sponsors have donated. Um, so for children, you can earn prizes at five books, 10 books, and 15 books. And for teens, you can earn prizes at one book, two books, and three books. And then for adults, we will hold prize drawings every week where you can log. Um, if you've logged at least one book that week, you're automatically entered to win that week's prize. So we hope that everybody will sign up. It's super fun. It's a great way to celebrate reading together this summer. All of the details for that are available on our website at galitavalleylibrary.org. So go um, head on over there and check it out. If you have any questions, we're happy to help. We have another couple of fun announcements. Um, so some of you may know this one already, but if not, I'm so excited to share with you that Galita Library is open for sidewalk service and express service. So express service is a new service that we started just a couple weeks ago where you can actually come on in inside the library again. So we are really excited to be able to welcome our friends back into the library. Um, both of those are going on between 11 and four on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So um, again, all the details for that on our website at galitavalleylibrary.org. You can also give us a call um, or stop by and we'll be happy to share all the details with you. All right, my friends. Um, so for tonight, we have a fun story and I am really excited to share this with you. This is one of my favorites um, and I think that you will love it too if you don't already. And it is called Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. This is Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. And we're reading with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. This is written and illustrated by James Dean and the story is by Eric Litwin. And this is our friend Pete the Cat. Do you know Pete the Cat watching at home? Pete is one of my favorite characters in children's books. I love these stories. So this is Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. And let's find out what happens with Pete and his white shoes, okay? We're gonna dive in and get started. And this is a really fun book because there's counting, there's excitement, there's colors, and um, there's a good message at the end. So let's see what happens with Pete the Cat and his white shoes. And on this first page, I see lots of shoes. I see some telephone power lines, and I see lots of shoes. Let's go ahead and count them before we get started. Let's count how many shoes we have, okay? There is yellow. Well, <laughs> I jumped ahead. Let's count them first, then we'll practice the colors. There's one, two, three, and four. And um, now let's talk about what color they are. This one is yellow. What color do you think that one is up there? That one looks like it's red. Good job. What about this one? Is that one blue? Great job. And what color is this last one right here? I'll hold the book close so you can see. Those look like they're green. Good job, everybody. And in Mr. Marcos's bilingual story times at two o'clock, he practices all of these colors in Spanish. So if you wanna learn some really fun um, ways that you can practice Spanish with everyday things, that's a really fun program to check out. So we're gonna practice in English today, but if you wanna practice in Spanish, Mr. Marcos can help you with that. Bilingual story times at two o'clock on Tuesdays. All right, my friends, let's see where Pete is headed. Here he is. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Ooh, look how pretty they are. Those look beautiful. He, Pete loved his white shoes so much he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. 
He loves his white shoes. There's a heart and he loves them. He loves them so much, he's singing a song about them. But, oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? What color? Hmm, if you were to step in something that's a strawberry color, what color do you think it might turn your shoes? Hmm, if you guessed red, you were right. Good job. So here is the color red, and then this is how we spell it. R-E-D, red. That's how we spell red. Pete's shoes are no longer white, they're red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. And here he's thinking to himself, everything is cool. So now this is his new song. You wanna sing it with me? I love my red shoes, I love my red shoes, I love my red shoes. He looks really happy. I don't think he minds that his shoes are red. He is super happy. But, oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. Blueberries, friends. If you were to step in blueberries, what color do you think it would turn your shoes? I'll give you a hint. The color is part of the word blueberry. What color do you think it's gonna turn his shoes? Oh no! Blue, that's right. Is that what you guessed at home? Good guess. Blue, this is the color blue. Pete's shoes are blue now. And this is how we spell the word blue. Let's practice together, okay? B-L-U-E, spells blue. So that is the color blue. So his shoes are no longer white. They're no longer red. They're blue now, friends. What do you think he did? Do you think, did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. He's thinking to himself, awesome. Maybe he's excited his shoes changed color so much. Let's sing his new song together, okay? I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. He loves his blue shoes. And there's some pretty blue rain and some pretty, pretty blue umbrella that Pete has. And Pete is blue too. Well, Pete was happy and he was walking along. And then what happened next? Oh no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud, friends. He stepped in mud. Have you ever stepped in mud? Oh, it's so squishy. And what color is it? What color do you think the mud turned Pete's shoes? Hmm. Why don't you take a moment and make up a guess in your mind, okay? And we're gonna see if we guessed right. Hmm, I'm gonna make a guess in my mind. Do you have it ready? Let's see what color. It's brown. Pete's shoes are no longer white. They're no longer red. They're not even blue, friends. They are brown. His shoes are brown. And this is the color brown. Pete's shoes are brown. And this is how you spell the word brown. Should we practice this one together too? I think that's a great idea. B. You say it with me. B R O W N spells brown. Good job. Want to sound it out? Good job, friends. We're learning so many colors together tonight. So Pete's shoes are brown. And so did Pete, did he cry? Goodness, no. Pete didn't cry. He kept walking along and singing his song. And he's thinking to himself, groovy. He's thinking groovy. Pete seems like nothing is gonna ruin his day today. So now let's sing his new song. His shoes are brown. Let's sing together, okay? I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. He loves his brown shoes. And look, Pete 
has something super yummy. Mmm, does that look like some brown hot chocolate? Yum. Oh no, friends, something else happened. Pete stepped in a bucket of water. Stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. They were washed away. They were washed away. So what color were his shoes again? Hmm. What color were they when we started the story? They were white. They were white, and the page is white, so it's kind of hard to see. I'll hold the book close for you, friends. They are white. So this is the color white, and Pete's shoes are white again, and this is the word white. Let's spell it together, friends. W-H-I-T-E, white. They were white again, but they were wet. Uh-oh, they were white. Did Pete cry? His shoes are all wet? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. All right, friends, I think you know it by now. Let's sing together. Let's sing Pete's song. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. He loves his wet shoes. And I love this page of the book. This is probably my favorite page when Pete is walking down the street and his shoes go squeak, squeak. <laughs> Have you ever had wet shoes and you're walking along the sidewalk and they squeak a little bit? It happens, my friends. So his shoes are squeaking, but he seems super happy. So Pete has a story and his story has a lesson. And when a story has a lesson, it's called a moral of a story. So let's find out what the lesson is. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. And I love this page of the book because look, friends, we have all the different colors that Pete's shoes turned this day. So we have white, blue, what color is this? Brown, and this one, red. So we have all of Pete's adventures on each of his shoes. And Pete has a message for us. He says, it's all good. The end. Good job, my friends. Wonderful job. I love that story because it's super fun and it's kind of silly. Um, and I love all of the different colors. And when Pete washes them all off, it's so fun. But my favorite part of that story is at the very end when Pete reminds us to keep walking along and singing our song because it's all good. All right, my friends, thank you for coming to Storytime tonight. Let's end with a special song, okay? Let's go ahead and, ooh, let's get our twinkles out. Can you show me your twinkles? Let's get our twinkles out and let's sing our closing Storytime song, okay? And it's gonna be about these beautiful shapes right behind me. It's gonna be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Let's sing together, okay? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! Good job, my friends. Thank you for singing with me tonight. And you might notice that our normal special friends, they didn't join us for story time tonight, but we have a new special friend who wanted to say good night really quickly. This is, this is our friend Green Crayon. This is our friend Green Crayon, and he is visiting us for the summer reading program. So you're going to see him in lots of our pictures, and you're going to be able to even enter for a chance to win Green Crayon at the end of the summer reading program. All you have to do is log your books this summer, and you'll be entered to win Green Crayon. So he's going to say, good night, everybody. Thanks for coming to story time and we'll see you next time. Okay, friends, take care and have a good night. Bye-bye.